Hi guys! Okay, so, um, on my last video I did Aristotle's Golden Mean, and I just want to basically add on to the fact that it's kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So when it came to the porridge, Goldilocks found that there was one too hot, there was one too cold, but the baby's one was just right. And then when it came to the beds, one was too hard, one was too soft, but one was just right. So Aristotle called these um, vice access, which was too much, um, mean virtue, which was just right, and then vice deflect, which was too little. And basically, when you look at speeding and driving slow and right, driving the maintaining the speed limit, those fit into the category. So too much would be driving really fast, so speeding. And then too little would be driving too slow. And then just right would be maintaining the speed limit. So other examples would be like, if you were studying for the test, study just the right amount. If you don't study at all, that can't help you either. And if you study too much, that also doesn't help you. And another example would be, if you're a virtuous person who's aware of the consequences, and then in the vice deflect, it would be that you're oblivious to any consequences. And then the vice access would be, meaning that you have anxiety over everything and all the consequences. So, some criticisms of this theory would be that, that virtue ethics is counterintuitive and it's, beg it's begging the question. So, it says to do what you're good at, but some people are just good at stealing and some people are good at lying. So, is that virtuous to do? Because, basically, this theory assumes that all virtue is good and it could not be. There's also, the second one would be no solution. So, what if two different virtuous people disagree with something. Because there's no action guiding or no problem solving, they have no recourse to region or reason or logic. And then the last one is that there's no tautology. And that's just scientists today rule out that all tautology thinking, which means that a scientific theory to why giraffes necks are so long is so that they can reach high branches and high leaves. That would that was that used to be called a scientific theory, but now because of no tautology, that's not considered scientific theory. That's not why giraffes are put on the earth because they have long necks to reach tall grasses. That's not their virtue. So that's all for this video. Um, I'll make one soon. Okay, later. Bye.